integrate sine x times the square root of 1 plus tangent squared. Solution. So right away, uh, when you see this problem, there is an identity uh, that you can use. So we have the integral of sine x. And 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. So a good first attempt is to use this identity immediately and see what happens. When you take the square root of secant squared, you just get secant. So this is sine x, secant x, dx. And this does not seem like a familiar integral. So typically what you can do when that's the case is you can write everything in terms of sines and cosines. So secant is 1 over cosine. So this is sine x times 1 over cosine x dx. This ends up being sine x over cosine x dx. This is tangent, uh, but to integrate tangent, um, you write it as sine over cosine, and you make a substitution. So the substitution we will make in this case is u equals cosine x. Then taking the derivative, uh, du is equal to negative sine x dx. And now we have to make this look like what's in our integrand. So we can multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative du is equal to sine x dx. And now we're good to go. We're ready to make our substitution. So this is equal to, let's see, sine x dx. That whole piece is negative du. So negative 1 over u du, right? Because u is cosine. So this piece here is our u. And this piece here is our negative du. 1 over u gives us a familiar function. It's natural log absolute value of u, and u here was cosine x, and uh, we have the plus c. And that is the final answer. Note I skipped a step here. This is negative ln absolute value of u plus c, and then u is cosine. This problem is from one of the um, MIT Integration B qualifying exams. I hope this helped.